Hey, welcome to this week's edition of my vlog. We have a lot to cover two weeks about. Um, so, let's get started. Week before the last, we were 15 north in the ridge. 15 north, the regular show. The highlight of that show was afterwards loading out. I ran out of gas, or diesel, or fuel. Whatever you want to call it, I ran out of it. This is where I parked. I parked on a hill, and one tank leaks into the other tank, or loads up or something. So all my gas diesel went into the other tank. So I drive around, we load out, and I, and I run out of fuel, and I gotta sit there in this parking lot. Luckily, Alex came back, and we were there until 9 in the morning, 10 in the morning, something like that, driving around trying to find little gas cans, big gas cans, and bringing diesel back there, trying to figure out how to get the thing started. We knew we had uh, to prime it because it ran out of fuel, so you got to prime a diesel, didn't know what to do. Finally got a hold of somebody and said, just pour some ether in there. And Alex was like, oh, jeez. And so that's what we did. It was pretty scary to squirt ether in there and get that thing going because it really revved up. And, uh, but it eventually got going and I got home. Oh my gosh. It, I, I had plenty of fuel. It just doesn't make any sense that it, it just emptied out in the other tank or something. Weird, weird stuff. Sucked being there all morning, but hey, the good thing was Saturday at the Ridge, I brought out the recording stuff, and I got a successful recording from the whole night of the Ridge, so I was able to mess with that stuff and get to know that stuff for the, the next show, which was the CD release part. So the Ridge stuff came out pretty good, and I got the chance to mess with it a bit and make sure that the recording worked so that we were ready for the CD release. So, when I get back from the ridge, it's uh, 6 in the morning or something, I bring uh, the computer in, hook it all up, because I want to hear the recording, and I hook it up, and I'm uh, mixing up some stuff and everything, and it sounds good, and then, then uh, uh, Greg goes out a little bit on me, I can't hear his guitar anymore, so I start to turn that up, or tweak the tone on it or something, and then it goes, and it goes, and, and, it, and it just starts sounding different to me, and I'm like, what's going on? And I'm messing with the balance because the left side sounds like it's like real quiet. I can't figure out what's going on. I'm like, what's going on? I'm thinking my, my mixer is a little old or something. And anyway, so my wife comes down. It's about, I don't know, 8 or 9 in the morning. She says, what the heck are you still doing up doing this stuff? And I said, uh, yeah, I want to hear it. And then when I talked to her, I heard my voice in my head. So what happened was my left ear was closing up while I was doing this. So my left ear has been closed up since that Sunday morning. And now it's Sunday now. So it's a week. My ear has been shut down. I hear my voice inside my head. It really bothers me. So I, I, I thought I would be okay for the, the CD release party because I went to the doctor on Monday. She gave me amoxicillin and said I got a really bad ear infection. And uh, it still isn't clear. I'm even trying this stuff Alex told me to take this Mucinex. But I got Mucinex DM, not Mucinex D. And now I finally got Mucinex D. Right here in the in the red box. And I can't even take this because I took a couple already. This sucks. Anyway, I can't hear out of this ear. Sort of. I mean, it kind of comes and goes. So I mixed the CD release party with this. I mixed the House of Blue with, Blues with this. And, uh so much pressure to be doing that stuff with all these people around and everything, all these sound guys and stuff, and, and here I can't even hear. It well, just uh, irks me that, that that's the case. But, uh, some people say it sounds good. I, I, I don't know. I, I try my best. I, I, I do the best I can. Uh, so that's the deal with my ear. It's been clogged up since then. I hope it's unclogged by the next week. Ah, CD release party day started for me about 4.30 in the morning. Uh, 4 o'clock in the morning on that Thursday through Philadelphia came really, really heavy rains and a really bad storm. All kinds of problems happened uh, from what I hear. Uh, electrical storms and a lady across the street from me, a tree fell and took, uh, took out a power line and uh, she had to have Pico come out. What happened to me was uh, I had water come into my house 
and fry my internet connection. And I have an internet connection that, that powers, I got like 200 domains I host. And uh, so that goes and fries out. At 4.30 in the morning, my phone rings because it's my provider saying, hey, you're down. And uh, so I talk with them and we have to schedule Verizon to come out to put in a new box. So Verizon finally got out around uh, 9 in the morning. I mean, I tried to lay down between 4.30 and, and, and when they showed up, but the phone would ring here and other people were complaining. And, you know, What's going on? You're down. I'm like, I know. <laughs> um, so I had to wait for that guy to do that. And we moved the box because the box was in a bad place. That's, it kept getting wet for various reasons. And so got that moved. And when he got out of there, it was like 10, whatever. I don't know what I did between that time, but I had to leave at noon because I had to go pick up uh, Bob's new plexiglass up in Bristol or Burlington, Bristol Bridge I had to take. He told me, he goes, over the Bristol Bridge, it's going to take 130 south, and you turn around at the second light, and there's this place, oh, it's, it's this glass place, it starts with B something, it's B something glass, B glass, so I go down there, and it's Norman's Auto Glass, so I guess... Norman is like, uh, maybe he thought it was Orin Norman or something, I don't know. But I get the glass, then I go all down to bootleggers. I get down to bootleggers about 2 o'clock. And surprise them, because they're cleaning the place up. They didn't expect us till 3. Uh, we had planned to get there at 2.30. Uh, so we load in there around 2.30. Uh, all the stuff, all the scrims, the... Uh, Got the extra lights the night before, brought out the big bright 575s again, and uh, set up for the show, sound check for the show, my ears still didn't work, uh, I told you that already, uh, recording stuff's all set up, Dave brought in a bunch of cameras, I, there's like five or six cameras in there, and even Brian Bortnick said during the show that uh, probably going to put out a DVD from the CD release party. So hopefully that will happen with the audio I have and with the video that Dave has that we'll be able to do something that might be worthy of uh, a release to uh, mass produce for people. Uh, CD release, uh, they did their set from 10.30 to, to, to midnight about. Uh, it was a very good set, all kinds of stuff in that set. If you weren't there, you, you, you obviously missed it. Uh, there was the, I Cry by Brian Solo, just him and his acoustic, just the drum solo, where Joey Bass showed up and played some Jim Bay during the drum solo, and all the new stuff, some old stuff, some very old stuff, um, and they signed autographs until the place closed, 2 two thirty, something like that, and we were bad, <laughs> we uh, took advantage of the VIP area. For a while, and I think Jason uh, put a fire under our ass to get the heck out of there. We got out of there a little bit later than normal, but it was a good show. So it was a lot of fun. It was, it was a great vibe. Great vibe. Uh, we should do it again next week. <laughs> so off the next night to the Big Kahuna. And uh, I think uh, some people were feeling the results of the previous evening. Uh, some guys in the band were tired. But Kahuna was good outside. Smoke outside. Cigarettes outside. Awesome. Uh, Delaware. Smoke. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Rob Shirt. I have to repeat what it said. Um, Resets Octane Fun there. Brought the 575s there. Lined it up. This glass blew over. Cracked up a bit. Uh, good night there. And next night was Buck Cherry. Open it up for Buck Cherry. Early load in there. 4 o'clock load in. Me and Alex went down in his Suburban. Uh, brought down just the bare minimal stuff. Um, there's a lot of traffic, so I guess the other, the rest of the band got stuck in a lot of traffic, so they got there much later than five. Uh, Alex and I were walking around, we got to see Buck Cherry sound check, and, uh, 
guess I shouldn't say anything about that. But, uh, uh, we were looking at the, the levels. It's about 120 decibels. Then after they shut off the PA, they were just playing on stage. It's about 109 decibels. So gosh, uh, it's amazing how, how loud they were. Uh, I mean, I still can't hear. I still can't hear now. But, uh, my sound check, I thought, sounded pretty harsh. And I wasn't happy with it. But once the band went on and the place was full of people, it sounded much better. Yeah, they get absorbed. Cause it's a very bright room. Cement floors, cement walls. There's not much absorption in there. And I, for the first time, I saw the balcony. I never saw the balcony before. The PA like curves up and like points up into the balcony. The face bins are on the floor. I don't know how that works. But it sounds good. Uh, just in case we share it with the, the band room. Uh, they were from the area. I didn't know that. But, uh, there's three guys. That was a good show. We stayed there, gosh, way, way later than I thought we would have. Um, after the show, they had this uh, room in another club. And we hung out in there. Um, eventually got the CD on there. We went to, like, Jazzy Jeff was DJing or something? I don't know. It's all a blur. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not. I just wanted to dance. That's all I wanted to do. Anyway, it's a good show. Good show. And this is my thing. Um, I'm done. That's all I got to say. It was a, it was a really good week this past week. It's a really some buck charity thing. Uh, outdoor community where you can swim. There's, there's the highlight there. And that's the last two weeks. And hopefully I'll be able to hear again. Yes, that would be a good thing. Okay, I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs>